I was told to give the girls that urgent message. So if you feel like this is a video for you, stay tuned. Okay, what's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, but I'm known as Aubrey when I'm doing these more personal, intimate videos. Um, I do have my Align and Souls channel. Not really active over there. I'm going to start being more active, okay? I'm just trying to get my feedback in, see how things go, okay? Like I said, I just wanted to do an urgent message video, an urgent message video, because I felt called to do it, okay? So, uh... Spirit, what do we have? Give me a prosperity message. Give me a prosperity message. Keep in mind, this could resonate. Take what uh, resonates, leave what doesn't. This is obviously a general. If you like something more personal, more detailed for your personal life, your personal story, go to thealigningsouls.com to look at your personal reading, okay? They're literally 50% off. Everything is in the description box and right here, okay? 50% off on thealigningsouls.com. All right, but let's see um, what's going on because we do have an eclipse coming up in like four days. So a lot of changes is taking place for a lot of people. A lot of delusions, a lot of waking up, a lot of... Um, just coming out of confusion could be a time of like more clarity for a lot of people. It could be a time where um, there's a lot of endings, a lot of major beginnings, you know, in the areas of spirituality or just in an area wherever you have delusions, right? So depending on where you have Pisces in your chart can depend on where your like what area of your life is going to be affected. If you have it in your second house, it could be, um, you know, themes around money. If it's in your third house, communication, fourth house, home, fifth house, entertainment, hobby, sixth house, uh, health, jobs, seventh house, relationships, eighth house, debts, finances, ninth house, spirituality, the higher learning, 10th house, career, 11th house, friendships, networking, social media, dreams, 12th house, it could be the unconscious, first house, identity. So it really depends, but we're all about to go through like some sort of like shit within the next week or so. Or you might even already be feeling like you're about to go through this shift. Um, give me a prosperity message. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Okay. So what do we have, spirit? <laughs> and what did I say? I said a shift, right? A shift. Let me go ahead and take this off. I literally just said a shift, right? And this is what came out. A change in the wind. Change in the wind, okay? And this usually points to a tower moment that is about to happen. A uh, shift, like I mentioned. Okay, so a change in the wind. This is a sense that an unseen change has been initiated. <laughs> what did I say? Come on, spirit. What did I say? Okay, go book a reading. A sense that unseen change has been initiated, preparation for a storm, awareness that your plans are not on firm ground, feeling a shift, <laughs> uncertainty about which direction the wind will blow. Baby, I don't need these damn cards. I don't need these damn cards. <laughs> As you endeavor to create a prosperous life, you may encounter unexpected reversals that cause you to shift directions. This is a good thing. So there's nothing to fear. Perhaps the opportunity you sought went to someone else. Perhaps you pursued something that you suddenly realize is not in your highest good. You might not be 100% clear on where you need to go. And then I, then I say, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I'm done to read him. Perhaps the opportunity you sought went to someone else. Perhaps you pursue something that you suddenly realize is not in your highest good. You might not be 100% clear on where you need to go, but you are certain that things are not going as planned. Circumstances are not in your control right now, so wait it out. All will be well, even better, actually. Trust. Didn't I literally just tell you, hoes? Like, I literally just said. Confusion, clarity, like there's going to be some sort of delusion. I literally just said that and talked about that. I Go book a reading, thealignmentsouls.com. Go book a reading while, it, while it's 50% off, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into, all right? Now, now that we got the overall message, I'm going to do a spread. And everything is just really just off the cuff. Because like I said, this is so unplanned that it's just like very improv. So y'all y'all going to sit here and wait while I... Y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all are not doing a, a goddamn thing. Um... 
Let me go ahead and choose a spread. Okay, yeah, that's the spread I want. So overall theme. All right. But yeah, definitely a lot of changes. Like I said, I would look to where you have Pisces within your chart. That's what's coming up for me. Look to where you have Pisces within your chart. Um, that'll probably give you some sort of insight as to what's going on this week. Okay. Um, also, too, five degrees in between 25 either way. So it could be, I would say, about 20 degrees to zero. Because it's 29, then zero, right? Either way, five degrees before or after 25 degrees of Pisces. Look in your chart and see what do you have that. You can also be affected in places where you might have anything around 20, that 25 degree. All right, so spirit, come on, um, spread it out for me. Let me get the overall and then spread it out. Let me get the overall and then spread it out. Let me get the overall message and then spread it out. I'm not, mm, should I? I feel like, yeah. I feel like I should. I, mm, should I? Should I? Is that what I want to do? Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. Because that's what I'm feeling. Um... Yeah, this is definitely a week of spirituality. This is definitely a week of spirituality. We also have Saturn that is in Pisces. So we're about to have a Pisces eclipse, right? On the 18th, depending on where you are, 17th, 18th. Um, that's about like Tuesday, Wednesday. And um, yeah, like I said, those with 20 degrees to zero degrees of Pisces will be affected the most. However, it's going to affect everybody. But those within the five degree range going before and going after will be affected the most. Keep in mind, Saturn is also transiting in Pisces right now. So it's causing a lot of confusion and restrictions. That's why you see like a lot of shit happening with the oceans and mammals popping up, the birds acting up, tripping all different times of the night. That's also a whole other conversation with Leviathan and wake, it waking up. But that's a whole other conversation. But my point is, is that this is going to be a week where you're definitely going to be tested, like in terms of spirituality, right? And in terms of delusions, like wherever you've been delusional in your life, a bubble might be burst. There might be some sort of reality check. Um, there could be a place where, like, you really, really, like, okay. And I'm just keep it above. For me, I have Pisces in my second house, right? So that would be surrounding money and, like, desperately wanting, like, your financial situation to change, right? And then you might go through all of these lessons that make you feel like, well, it's never going to happen. You, you just suck, whatever, right? So the test would be for you to have strength in, in spirit and um, have faith. You know what I mean? Like faith that things are going to change. You know, lean on God, lean on spirituality, lean on the spirit, right? Rather than, you know, feeling hopelessness. So that's the overall energy is that, yes, there is a shift that is taking place. Like I said, look towards Pisces, wherever that is in your house, that might give you more insight. But there's a shift going on this week. And so it's going to cause you to feel a lack of faith, a lack of support. Like you're going to feel like the, the, the foundation beneath you it's crumbling because essentially it is, but you have to hold on to that faith like a mustard seed. Like even, because th these are the two energies that came out, right? We have light and we have um, hope, which literally go hand in hand because, um, no, I said light and hope. I didn't mean to say, say hope. We have light and balance, which goes hand in hand because it represents faith. It represents hope, right? And so even with this, with the light, it's like seeing that glimmer of, of hope, like you're you're in a cave of darkness, but you see that tiny little light and then you reach towards it as you go towards it more and more, you come into the light, right? It's kind of the same thing. It's going to be a period of darkness. It feels like a period of darkness, but there is a light shining. There is a glimmer of hope. You just have to go towards it and you have to believe and you have to do so from a balanced place and not from a shadow place. You have to do so from a place of, I know that everything is going to be okay. I know it's going to be okay because I'm making sure I'm going to be okay because I'm real balanced in my emotions. I'm balanced in my physicalness. I'm balanced in uh, mentally. I'm, I'm just balanced overall. Does that make sense? Don't give in to your circumstance because your circumstance is your circumstance, not who you are. Or like what your life is going to be about. It doesn't define you. It's just a moment in time. Okay? Had to say that. But overall theme, current situation, challenges, where the energy needs to be focused, advice, protection. Right. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have emotional draw. What did I just say? I literally just said, you have to be like so detached from this situation. Because when you get your emotions involved, that's when ego comes into play. And that's when it's like, oh, well, I should have been had. Or I'm never going to have it. It's just a moment in time. Life doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. 
It's literally that simple, right? So you have to deter detach your emotions, and it can be hard. It can it can be hard. Like again, Pisces second house, you know, that's an eclipse happening in the area of your money. You're like, fuck, I'm so goddamn broke. Like I want to make money. Like I gotta pay rent. I gotta da -da 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 -da. And it's easy to get caught up in that, and easy to feel hopelessness. But like you just you just gotta do it. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat you. You just have to do it. It's easier said than done, but it's just, it's just something you gotta do. Baby, five years from now, you're gonna look back and be like, oh shit, that's all I had to do was just sit there and believe. Yes, stupid. Yes. So don't even waste your time trying to like I, I don't know what else to say other than literally just sit back and believe. <laughs> that's it. That is it. That is the hardest part of it, especially when reality is crumbling down and you have so many, you know, just things going wrong. That is the hardest part, is is training your mind to act like your emotion. That's why you have logic, which is more masculine, and then you have intuition, which is more feminine. We can easily go by logic because we're taught and we're programmed certain things, but hardly ever do we rely on our intuition. That's why so many people like go through things in our life and they end up with regrets later because they're like, my intuition told me one thing, but I was programmed and learned to do another. And so it's just like, yeah, it's harder and easier said than done, but do it. Do it. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, so overall theme. Let me get overall theme for tarot. Overall theme for tarot. Picking up on a twister. Picking up on a twister whirlwind. Twister whirlwind. Kentucky. Don't know what that means. Thank you. Keeping that. Overall. Current challenges where the energy needs to be focused and advice protection. Bottom of the deck, we got three of swords. Baby, what the fuck did I just say? Like, what did I say? We have three of swords at the bottom of the deck. And what do we have right here? We have emotional withdrawal. Three of swords is full of emotion and regret. And like, I just got cheated on. I just got hurt. You fucked me over so bad. Emotional withdrawal. Obvious, right? So the three of swords with emotional withdrawal, it's just like, Girl, go sit down. Go sit down. Okay, yeah, you were cheated on. Okay, but like, what if I told you like the love of your life is like coming in tomorrow? But like, you about to miss that because you so caught up in emotion. Go sit down. Go, go sit down somewhere and like, we could cry about it later. Right now, it's time to have faith. That's it. It's not that your tears are invalid or that your feelings are invalid. It's just, bitch, we done been there, done that. Right now, it's time for a little faith. Again, five years from now, you're going to look back and be like, that's literally all I had to do was just sit back and shut the fuck up and like pray. Yeah. Sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes that's all it takes. God has not forgotten about you. It's not that deep, girl. It's going to seem like it's that deep because of all the, you know, we are flesh and material world and programming. And, yeah, it's going to seem worse than it actually is, but you're fine. Okay. So overall energy, we got the four cups. You're not really invested at all. You're not really invested at all. And I feel like you're in a place where it's just like, uh, 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 what was me? What was me? I got it so bad. And I, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I just get over yourself. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Like, it feels like you're in a place where. You're just disconnected. And so you're not seeing that there's a blessing that's coming in. It's like every ending brings a new beginning. When one door closes, another motherfucker opens. Okay, that was the love of your life. Okay, well, here's the love of your life part two. Okay, you made a lot of money at that job. Okay, well, here, now you're about to make 10 times more. Okay, you really like driving that car. Okay, well, here's a 2024 version of it. Like, you understand what I'm saying? It's like, whatever it is that you say here being delusional about that you're trying to hold on to, bitch, you blocking yourself from the blessings. You're the dumbass. You're the asshole. It's that simple. It's that simple. Okay, but if you don't, <laughs> if you just want to keep focusing on the ooh, shiny little thing that you, you know, you've idolized in your mind, fantasized about in your mind through your rose colored glasses, not understanding that it truly ain't all that it's cracked up to be and it been should have, it should have been out of your life a long time ago. Like if you want to keep focusing on that and not this blessing that the universe is trying to bring into. <laughs> 
You made that call though. Remember that, okay? So the current situation that we have, oh, we got judgment and we got truth. Oh, what's wrong? You're seeing the you're seeing the reality of a situation, realizing that something was not as cracked up as it needs to be? Or are you seeing the reality of you and how you may have benefited with a situation or failed to benefit? I'm going to use myself as an example. Again, Pisces second house. That is where the eclipse is hitting. That is where Saturn is transiting for me. So I already know it's going to be a week about money and finances and how things need to get better. And for me, it's just like, well, girl, we done been broke. We done been rich as fuck. I'm tired of being broke. I'm ready to be back rich as fuck. Like, what we got to do? Okay. And it might be a situation where it's just like, oh, bro, Arbor, you know, you know. Just doing baddies reviews, that's not cutting it. That keeps you limited. That keeps you boxed in. So let's go and start diversifying content, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like a delusion that you break out of because it, and for me, it's not really a delusion. It's just like, it's something that I, I know at some point I got to diversify my content, but I'm just giving you an example. It's like a, here's where, like, here's what you want, right? The universe already knows what it is that you want. Here's what you do that needs to change. Like, here's what you're doing that might need to change in order to get to where you want. The, the ask isn't the problem. It is the getting there that is going to be the issue for a lot of people because a lot of people are just like, no, 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 but I know what I'm doing. And the universe is like, okay, you think you do, but it ain't been working. And the fact that it ain't been working, that's giving delusion. And that's what we're trying to tell you this week, girl. So do it this way. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like the universe sitting me down and saying, hey, Aubrey, you, go, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Build this channel a lot quicker if you if you did da 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 da. And I'm just like, no, girl, I, I got it. I know what I'm doing. No, no, no. But they're like, but you said you want it. Okay, no, but, but uh, you understand what I'm saying? Right. So it's the truth. It, it's some sort of truth. It's some sort of new phase that starts. And, you know, some people will get hit over the head with the truth, where it's just like, bitch, we, don't, we tried to tell you. Get on your shit before shit gets on you. Now the shit is all over you. You covered in shit. You a shit monster, a shit goblin at this point. Like, because the universe is trying to tell you. Okay, should have hit the fans so much that the whole fan is collapsing with shit. That's how bad it is for some of y'all. And then others of you, you might have gotten, you know, little inklings. You might have noticed the red flags here and there. So it's just like, it's not going to be much of a shock. It's just going to be a, a, a pivot that happens, right? So the challenges that we have in this situation. Oh, we got Destiny and we got Ace of Cups. Oh, we got Destiny and we got Ace of Cups. <sighs> Opening your heart to, to whatever this new situation is, right? Because you are so emotionally attached to whatever that was, that it's like, I don't know if I can remove myself from that. And it's like, girl, again, 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 we're not going to sit here and argue all day. We're not going to do this all day. You want that old person? They don't want you. They don't want you. Okay. You you want them back? You Oh, I wish we stood there. They don't want you. Okay. You want that old job back that you got fired from because it's the best job they ever had? Girl, they fired you. They don't want you back. Like, it's like learning that hard truth. And you're having a hard time doing that because it's almost like a, I don't know what is for me. Or for a long time, I thought this was for me and it's not for me. And I'm having it like, you're having to swallow that pill and that's okay. Choo choo, yum yum. Like, we all have to at some point. So, what you want me to do? I'm not going to keep babying y'all this whole reading. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Like you are blocking yourself from a bigger blessing. Stuck in the past. For what? Block their number. Okay. Stop, stop, stop going around to that job trying to see if you could get rehired. Okay. Stop trying to do whatever career field that is that has not been working. Like whatever has not been working. Stop trying to make it work. Stop. Stop. Okay, it's like you're trying to take a plug and plug it into a socket, but clearly the socket does not work, but you just keep hoping. You keep checking on it every two hours. Is it working out? Is it working out? Bitch, it wasn't working when you started, so obviously it ain't going to work now. It ain't just going to magically turn on because there's no connection. There's no, no, no connectivity for a reason, and it's the same thing. Wherever there's no connectivity, no spark, no attachment, detach yourself from it. Why do you keep trying to fit a square into a circle puzzle? It don't work, stupid. Okay, so where your energy needs to be focused, we have the hangman, but we also have uh, movement, choices, and decisions. You need to think about what else is actually going to benefit you. What is actually going to benefit you? I feel like you need to practice the art of letting go, and that is a fucking title right there, the art of letting go. You need to practice the art of letting go. You have a hard time practicing or um, not even practicing. <laughs> no, no, no. You have a hard time just letting go completely. And it could be given abandonment issues. It could be given um, codependency issues. Whatever is given, girl, give it back. 
Because at this point, it needs to be worked on. It needs to be worked on. Why do you let things come into your life and not say it's welcome? Why? Fish goes bad after three days. Three days, okay? Fish goes bad after three days. Stop letting these motherfucking problems come into your life and out where they're welcome. Like, no, absolutely not. Don't wait the three days for the fish to go bad. Girl, throw that shit out, out after three hours, okay? Because there's notifications and red flags that's popping up as soon as you get the fish that this fish is fishy, okay? And too fishy for you and you don't want it and you don't need it, but yet you hold on to it. Why? Let's talk about that. Actually, let's not because I already done read you the fill. Girl. So your advice and protection, <laughs> we got temptation, but we got king of wands, okay? Temptation is double energy, but we have king of wands, right? We have king of wands, okay? Let's go, get in, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me just check on something real quick, okay? Confront your demons, baby. You're going to have to confront your demons, right? The temptation is most definitely dealing, it, it, it's the, it's this, Dex version of the devil. So you're going to have to confront your demons. You're going to have to confront your demons. Confront your demons. Like, nothing is going to be gained by you just sitting on your ass and weeping. And I feel like that's what y'all want. Like, y'all want this victim mode so bad. And, oh, my God, this happened to me. And th th don't nobody give a fuck. Don't nobody give a fuck. Spirit don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. The people commenting don't give a fuck about your situation. Your parents probably don't give a fuck because they got their own shit that they're going to be going through this week. Like, don't nobody give a fuck. And the sooner that you realize that, the better off you will be. The better off you will be. You are the only one that gives a fuck and you need not to. Be more like us. Be more like us. And I promise you, your life will start getting better this week. I promise you. I promise you. Y'all keep trying to hold on to whatever all of this is. And I literally just been sitting here 20 minutes telling you not, not to. And to let it go for a reason. Confront your demons. Confront your demons because you have the energy and the passion to be able to do so, right? Instead of sitting here on your hands like your hands is tied and sitting here like you don't know what to do, tell you. You need to look at how you got to this situation and how you can get out. You're stuck in a bind and you need to confront this situation, even if it's facing that hard truth within yourself. You know, it's time for a judgment call. How the fuck did I get here? It's time for some accountability and responsibility. Money fucked up? Well, were you spending too much money? Got into a relationship with a cheetah? Well, did they cheat on you? I mean, cheat on their girlfriend to, to get you and you thought this was going to be your next boyfriend, your husband. Like, accountability and responsibility needs to be had. Like, this is about confronting your shadow side. And a lot of people are going to be uncomfortable because the shadow side is a place that a lot of people don't want to go. But it's where you're going to have to go um, because that's where you're going to find healing. That's where you're going to find healing. There's a way out of this. You just have to care. You literally just have to care because right now you don't. You either don't care or you're acting like you don't see that there's a door. There's a way out. So I don't know what y'all want me to say, ho, okay? Because I feel like I didn't said it all. But I'm going to go ahead and get a protection message. Let me get a protection. And you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because before, before I started shifting the cards, I meant to read this. Truth be told was the overall energy that was at the bottom of the deck. Truth be told. Truth be told was the energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have TikTok. TikTok. Mm. I'm not even going to hold you because usually with messages, I feel like it's like a, if this resonates with you, take what does. No, I feel like this is for everybody. But I feel like there's specific people on my channel that need to hit us now. I do. Um, we have TikTok. And the message is, have you been feeling as if the clock is ticking and gotten a little nervous that your dreams are taking too long to manifest? There's nothing to fear. You will never run out of time for the important things. The miracles that are yours and yours alone can't be missed. Isn't that amazing? You're in such capable hands with guides and angels hovering in the invisible spaces, ensuring that your journey will be filled with all sorts of goodies. Let your anxiety be gently dispelled by your faith. Spirit will never deny you your highest good because all is yours and divine, appropriate timing. So relax. And that's literally what I said to y'all. 
That is literally what I said to you. What's meant for you will be for you. Life doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. Okay? So, run around being delusional. Chaitum was not meant for you. And it goes away because it's not meant for you. Look at that. Soulmates at the bottom. It's not meant for you. And sometimes you do have to take it back to basics. You know, that, that whole thing of if it goes away, then it's not meant for you. But if it comes back, it always was or whatever the quote is. It's, it's the same thing to be applied here. Same exact thing to be applied here. So I don't know what else to tell y'all other than <laughs> go to my website, thealanasouls.com to book your motherfucking reading. Thealanasouls.com to book your reading. I love each and every one of y'all. It's 50% off. Take advantage. Take advantage. It's 50% off. Use code half off. I'll see you in the next one, girl. Yeah.